The Philippines has quietly achieved a milestone that was unthinkable a decade ago. It now possesses a genuine anti-submarine warfare capability. At the heart of this transformation are the Jose Rizal-class frigates, paired with AW-159 Wildcat helicopters. Together, they form a complete detection, tracking, and engagement loop that gives the Philippine Navy its first realistic chance to counter undersea threats within its vast maritime territory. This is not just a story of acquiring modern ships and aircraft. It marks the creation of a professional, networked fleet designed for coordinated operations across air, surface, and subsurface domains. For the Philippines, anti-submarine warfare is not a luxury, but a necessity. With more than 36,000 kilometers of coastline and a vast exclusive economic zone extending deep into contested waters, the ability to detect and deter submarines is crucial. Regional waters have grown crowded with the steady expansion of Chinese, Vietnamese, and Malaysian undersea fleets. In such an environment, having ships that can hear what lies below the surface and aircraft that can respond quickly defines maritime credibility. The Jose Rizal class, conceived under the Horizon One modernization program, was the first attempt to give the Philippine Navy that kind of reach. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries in South Korea, the Jose Rizal-class frigates displace around 2,600 tons and represent a quantum leap from the Jacinto-class corvettes that preceded them. Their hull-mounted sonar, flight deck, and integrated combat management system make them the first Philippine warships designed from the keel up to operate with a dedicated anti-submarine helicopter. Each frigate features a hangar and flight deck rated for aircraft up to 12 tons, ideal for the AW-159 Wildcat. They also employ the Hanhua Naval Shield Combat Management System, linking sensors, weapons, and external units into a cohesive picture. With these capabilities, the Rizal class can detect underwater contacts, classify them, and relay targeting information to airborne or shipborne weapons. The Wildcat completes that kill chain. Developed by Leonardo in the United Kingdom, the AW-159 is a compact but sophisticated multi-role helicopter equipped with a modern suite of sensors, a 360-degree radar, electro-optical targeting system, and a dipping sonar for submarine detection. It can carry lightweight Blue Shark torpedoes developed by South Korea's LIG Nex-1, giving it both the sensor and the weapon to prosecute underwater targets. In the Philippine context, the Wildcat's agility and size make it perfect for operations from the Rizal class's limited flight deck. Its presence multiplies the frigate's reach. What the ship's sonar cannot hear, the helicopter can seek out beyond the horizon. The Jose Rizal and the Wildcat thus form a tactical triad ship sensors for detection, airborne sensors for localization, and torpedoes for the final strike. When properly coordinated through the combat management system, the sequence unfolds as follows. The frigate's sonar detects a possible submarine, the CMS classifies the contact, and the Wildcat is launched to investigate. Once the helicopter confirms the target using its own sonar, it can drop sauna buoys to monitor movement or deploy a torpedo for engagement. Meanwhile, the ship maintains data link communication, ready to add its own torpedo or call for assistance from nearby assets. This is the first time the Philippines has been able to close the full ASW loop without external support. To see why this matters, consider a scenario in the West Philippine Sea. A submarine is detected transiting near Palawan. Previously, the Philippine Navy could only monitor the contact passively, lacking the means to pursue or identify it. 
With the Jose Rizal class on patrol and a Wildcat embarked, the response changes entirely. The ship deploys the helicopter, which extends surveillance hundreds of kilometers away. If needed, the aircraft can track, classify, and engage, or at least provide target data for Allied units. This is deterrence through presence. An adversary must now assume the Philippines can detect and respond to any intrusion below the waves. Yet this new capability remains limited in scale. The Navy currently operates only two Jose Rizal-class frigates and two AW-159 Wildcats. That ratio means not every ship can deploy with its own helicopter, reducing operational availability. Maintenance and training infrastructure are still catching up. Operating an ASW fleet demands specialized technicians, sonar operators, and mission planning staff. Moreover, the Hanhua combat system and Leonardo helicopter come from different design lineages, complicating interoperability. Despite these challenges, progress continues. Plans for additional AW-159s and new Corvettes under Horizon 3 will gradually expand the network. Integration with other domains is the next step. The F-A-50 light fighters of the Philippine Air Force, now upgraded with Link-16 data links, can share tactical information with ships at sea. Future offshore patrol vessels from Hyundai Heavy Industries will carry the same Hanhua CMS, ensuring common situational awareness across the fleet. In time, data from coastal radar stations, P-3 or C-295 patrol aircraft, and even unmanned systems could feed into this growing network. The result is an embryonic but credible multi-domain deterrence architecture, built not on size, but on connectivity and precision. When viewed regionally, the Philippines' progress is modest but meaningful. Vietnam and Indonesia possess larger fleets, but few of their ships operate modern ASW helicopters with digital command integration. Malaysia's LEQ class and Singapore's Formidable class have comparable systems, yet they represent mature economies. For Manila, achieving even a small-scale ASW fleet marks strategic maturity. The understanding that maritime security begins beneath the surface. Ultimately, the Jose Rizal and the Wildcat symbolize a broader transition from a presence navy to a capability navy. The goal is not to outgun regional powers, but to deny them easy access to make every potential intrusion costly and uncertain. The combination of sensors, data links, and mobile air assets achieves precisely that. It is a deterrent scaled to the nation's resources, geography, and purpose. For the first time, the Philippine Navy can look beneath the waves with confidence. Its frigates and helicopters may be few, but together they represent something new, a self-reliant, coordinated force that can detect, pursue, and if necessary, strike. In the story of Philippine modernization, the Jose Rizal class and the Wildcat stand as proof that transformation need not begin with quantity. It begins with capability, discipline, and the will to connect sea and air into one coherent shield.